so this is our view from my recliner here we see the Lake Superior perfect opportunity to write your book again how do you like this place buddy? it's nice very nice shame it's overcast but maybe we could have seen the northern lights but grateful for what we have well, maybe tomorrow they will have another hot day. This is my desk where I'm working. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Here we have our professional cook making what is it, Wendy? Tuna melt sandwiches. Tuna <laughs> and strawberry. <laughs> Something red. So we are looking at the Porcupine <laughs> Mountains <laughs> Wilderness State Park <laughs> and we're one we're at one of the scenic areas called Lake of the Clouds many trails people come hiking we saw, a, we saw a sign that said end of the world in two miles so when we came through the gate because this is all state park uh, if you don't have the sticker by the way you have to pay nine dollars every time you go into a state park but if you want to have it for as an annual pass it's 34 right 34 dollars for the whole year and then you know you paid it I think it's 34 and then we have access to all the parks and there's many many state parks in Michigan so so worth doing that so when we came through the gate we asked the ranger so where is the end of the world and she said that someone had mentioned in a book I don't know who the author is but they entitled this whole area the porcupine mountain wilderness state park as the end of the world and we're looking for the place and we couldn't find it so this is the end of the world for all those who are believers in the flat earth, <laughs> it's the end of the world, period. We're on the lookout for some porcupine mountains. Come with us. Let's see what's at the end of the path. Yesterday we saw a bald eagle. Okay, Jack, you just learned something pretty astounding. Could you please share with the world what it was? No, it's my secret. No, you have to share. Well, actually, in the people coming, people coming. Quick, quick. I'll talk later. <laughs> Take two. Okay, Jack, you just learned something very interesting. Could you tell us something about it? No, please? it's a secret. <gasps> you have to. Please share. Well, you know, in 1950s, uh, a special bird disappeared from this area, but in 1990 appeared again. They found the nest of the unbelievable, the fastest predator in the air. And the name of it is Peregrine falcon and this beast 
can fly with the speed of 170 miles per hour and is feeding itself on the smaller birds so can you imagine 170 miles I was driving in my life 160 kilometers per hour but 170 miles per hour is a lightning kind of speed so this kind of bird is in the air in porcupine mountains thank you for sharing that highlight for five dollars here's the parfait i want to see if the bears like parfait or not wendy's okay this is my parfait wendy just made it i'm afraid that the bears will attack me when they see it maybe not And stairs again. Hey, you haven't had any for a while. Bouncy, yeah? Uh huh. Imagine 65 people on here. It's the suspension. The bridge is bouncing. It's a suspension bridge, honey. It's oh. only allowed 65 people on here. How do you know? So what happened to the water? I think it's the rock. Okay, let's make it. Is it not whiskey? Small. The majestic Lake Superior. Big fish. Over there, over here. I see. Can you just look? Look, I'm not That's a fish there? Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I have a um, little confession. I We are behind with our map for the simple reason that I couldn't find our stickers. I put it in such a safe place, I couldn't find them. So, I got them. The last time we had recorded, we were in Michigan and we had been there for a good two weeks um, I would say a good week of it was at the Upper Peninsula. It was incredible. If you haven't been, go see Lake Superior. Amazing. So we came through Michigan. We touched the top of Wisconsin. So I am going to put Wisconsin on there. And sadly, we did not really see anything. Just a lot of the back countries. We're trying to avoid the, um, the highways. We slept in a Walmart parking lot uh, just outside of St. Croix Falls. Didn't even explore the place. And then right now we are in Minnesota and we are slowly making our way to South Dakota. So we, has, we slept last night in Sam's Club. Thank you, Sam's Club. 
I was thinking that we sleep every night. But not in Sam's Club. And hopefully a day or two we will be in Sioux Falls and we're so going to... So what is the empty thing over there above? I have no idea. This is the Lake Superior. No way. We should have a sticker, man. Oh, we do have a sticker. Look at that. We do? Look at that. Oh my All God. right, Lake Superior, you deserve to have a sticker. You were incredible. I don't know what this little bit here is, but um, oh, that's Lake Michigan. Remember, 48 <laughs> states and five feet that's, deep. That's, Lake Superior can cover the entire 48 states of America with five feet of water. Clean water. So true. Crystal clean water. It was incredible and freezing cold. Yeah. So right now we are in Minnesota. We are in St. Cloud. And as I said, we're going to slowly make our way to Sioux Falls. And hopefully two days or so, we will be crossing South Dakota and heading towards the presidents. Mount Rushmore. We're going to say hello to the four presidents there. So let's keep you posted.